Startling new revelations about an alleged kidnapping and chase that began at a religious commune in Vista. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the gift given to the commune that some now believe was a ruse. We are in a rural neighborhood in Vista, and at the end of this street is a driveway that leads into the 12 tribes commune. This is where neighbors saw a bizarre scene play out in front of their eyes. This was how it ended. Two vans damaged, family members cut. It started more than a mile away on Friday evening. Two vans, they came flying out their driveway here. Neighbor Tim Harwig saw a tan van chasing a red van a few feet behind it. About that red van. So you had the driver's side slider was still open. Further down Foothill Avenue, we're told a tan van rammed the red van before deputies gave chase, eventually forcing both to stop. After the interviews, three people were arrested on kidnapping charges. The man they were targeting, a relative and a member of the 12 tribes commune. I, I could feel the, 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 bad, the tension. Christian Joubert, a friend of many in the commune, says the alleged victim got married last August to a member of the commune and tells us the man's father was not happy. But recently, in about face, that father gifted the commune 20 live chickens. Joubert now believes that was a ruse. He was told the father and other family members forced the man into the van. The motive? The family claims they were rescuing him from being brainwashed. So what do you think about that claim? Well, first of all, it's totally unfounded because I... Javert says the man who has lived in the commune for five years loves his life and his wife about to give birth. The 12 tribes commune with branches across the country has been dogged by claims of oppression, racism, and anti-Semitism, which commune leaders reject. But those concerns may have sparked a family to grab their loved one. He's a little embarrassed with his, his family, but, you know, he forgives them. Michael Chen, 10 News. And in a statement, a 12 tribes leader says we are extremely thankful that the young man was successfully returned to our community unharmed. As for his rescuer, a young man is a hero. Coming up at 6, we hear about what went through the mind of the commune member who raced after the family.